Okay, so I have a Shoemaker Battery Charger. Shoemaker. A Shoemaker. Capable of producing 2 amps and 40 amps. The first thing I found broken on this thing is the ground terminal on the outlet plug. So I plugged it in and I tested for voltage. I'm not getting at least 12 volts. It should be around 12.6 to 14. Well, I'm going to go ahead and replace that outlet plug in case it's broken inside. If it's just that ground terminal though that's broken, it shouldn't affect the operation of the battery charger. It just protects you from getting electrocuted. That is, if the wires come loose and grounds to the outside of the battery charger housing. Okay, so plug replaced and now I'm gonna retest the voltage. Still under 12 volts. Dial test failed. It was an open circuit in both directions. It's supposed to be open only in one ray. So current can't flow back. Well, let's open it up and see what's going on. Upon inspection inside, I found some heavily corroded wires and they just broke off. That would explain the open circuit. It's interesting because someone might have cranked it too long and it overheated the wires. In the associated maintenance guide, it says, before jump starting, always set the charger on high and charge for a minimum of five minutes before attempting to start the engine. This allows the battery to absorb a surface charge so that when the key is turned to start the engine, it is pulling some power from the battery and not demanding all of the starting capacity from the charger. Anyways, I'll post the PDF in the description. There's two diodes inside and you can check them separately. You should read 0.3 to a 0.5 voltage drop and if you reverse the polarity you'll get an open circuit I'm just gonna cut off the corroded wire and splice some new wire on using some butt connectors And now to put it back together. To check diodes, have the machine off and go 
red to black and black to red. Just like before, you should get 0.3 to 0.5 volts. Flip the leads around and you should get an open circuit. But this ray only checks the diodes as one. Now I'm going to check for voltage. I also tried fixing the fan because it wasn't coming on at all. Fan itself is working though. Tried replacing a capacitor. One of them seemed to be bad, so I replaced it with a similar one from an old electronic. It's good to have some old electronics lying around because they can have the parts that you need. For some reason, I had two powers to the fan and no ground. So I'm just going to take one of the wires and bring it over to the ground side and see what happens. Oh, I never got the fan to work. I don't know why. So if you have any ideas... Okay, now we're gonna try this out. Um, yeah, let's go recording this. We got amperage. So the 2 amp setting doesn't work for 12 volt batteries, but that's okay. We have other battery chargers for that. Thanks for watching.